Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. Well, U.S. Senate candidate Carrie Lake called the actions of Arizona Republican Chair Jeff DeWitt, making her an offer to not run in 2024, a bribe, and told Mike Broomhead... This is exactly what's wrong in politics. This is exactly what's wrong in our country. It's corruption from top to bottom from the outside to the inside. Many people say Lake insisting DeWitt resign in the midst of a vital election year for the Republican Party is a sign of exactly what's wrong with the state party. But it's just one issue for what would turn out to be the week that was for the Arizona GOP and maybe more importantly... The week that wasn't for the Arizona Republican Party, including the non-appearance of the standard bearer for the National Republican Party. Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, said he wasn't coming to the Arizona Republican Party's Freedom Fest that was scheduled to take place this evening at a mega church in North Phoenix. But the whole shebang was canceled since Trump wasn't coming. The GOP blamed the rally that wasn't on Trump's court obligations, but some people are speculating that wasn't the reason, though, and that Trump canceled because of the Kerry Lake Jeff DeWitt squabble. Like Lake, DeWitt's considered one of Donald Trump's most loyal allies. He served as chief operating officer on Trump's 2016 and 2020 campaigns, served in his administration, and was the first elected official in the United States to endorse Donald Trump when he first ran for president. So, like me, NBC News political analyst Chuck Todd isn't so sure that Trump canceling wasn't because two of his kids are fighting. One thing he doesn't want to do is mediate stuff like this, right? So he's just staying away. Which led me to ask Chuck if Trump wasn't coming because this was maybe more of a, a fight about who dad loves best. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. At times, yeah. That rally was going to be a huge fundraiser for the party that reportedly only has 160 grand in the bank. And the day before the party's state convention, which is tomorrow, this is not a great spot for the Republicans to be in the first month of a vital election year. But the most fascinating part of all of this is the long-term effects on the National Republican Party and the conservative movement overall. The MAGA movement created chaos in the Republican Party, and now it's turning on itself, and MAGA may eat itself alive. When a movement is not fully based in ideology, but it's based more in cult of personality, then it becomes positioning. And that might be exactly what Carrie Lake is up to. And if the MAGA movement doesn't eat itself, it just might starve the Republican Party of enough money to run much in the way of elections. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.